Today is school day and I'm teaching the little guys how to sharpen knives. So here we go, off to school. <laughs> okay, we got the box from Jesse uh, that we just showed you uh, on, on a video just prior to this one. So I think I'm going to pick a knife out of here. Uh, uh, I got one laying here, so let's do that. And uh, this is actually kind of a survival knife. Um, and it's got the Tonto style blade. It's got serrated edge down here. It's got the nice rubberized handle. I like the finger guards, the way it flares out up there. I love the fact that it's got a rubbery handle. That That's always my most favorite. If I'm gonna ha have a knife, uh, I actually want it to have a rubber handle like that. Your hands don't slip on it so much. And it's actually got a rough texture, okay. And, uh, oh, and then I'm going to give you an update on the black sharpeners. This saga just keeps pissing me off. <laughs> okay. I hope Dennis isn't watching the video, but anyway, it, there's things. All right. So let's see. Um, now we'll go to our Denver magazine, tear out a piece of paper. It's coming up on Christmas. Okay, Thanksgiving is in just a couple of days, three days. I don't know, today's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so let's do this. Let's see. I mean, it looks like it's never been used. It's just like a collection of knives, you know. And, uh, okay, if I turn into it and slice along, that's really not too bad. That's a very good workable edge. It is just a little bit different than a lot of my knives that I have on my table and stuff. So what I'm going to do today is uh, I've got the little orange one that I carry in my pocket everywhere, every day, all the time. This orange one actually goes to the gun shows and, and the other shows with me. So I demo this particular sharpener all the time. And I've had that in my pocket for about eight years, right around eight years now. And um, if you demo them every weekend, I sharpen roughly 120 knives a day three days a week, uh, Friday not so much, but 120, 240, uh, probably in the neighborhood of 300 knives a weekend, okay? And a lot of the demos is with this one, then the Sharpen Spark, Sharpen Spark Mini, the Long Handle, uh, and the Green Survival Sharpen Fire. So let's see. Okay, because this is a Tonto style blade, it comes out to the point, drops down like that. So with a whetstone, you actually have to sharpen this blade and then that blade individually, being a little bit careful not to round your point right there, all right? So with my sharpener, 90 degree corners, there's a 90 degree corner there, 90 degree corner there. And for those of you who can't quite understand 90 degree corners, yes, you can call it the edge. And I will know what you're talking about, but I prefer just to say if it goes over and down, that's a 90 degree corner there. All right, so we touch it to the blade, match the bevel, just like that all right and then i'm going to slide it right down the blade here and then right on down that blade so i'm going to come back up here like that match the bevel slide the corner of the sharpener down the blade like that and as a guy down in california was saying make sure you tell people if it shines a little too much on the heel you need to tip the blade up a tiny bit if it shines a little too much on the cutting edge you need to tip it down just a tiny bit um, it's taken him actually two years. I'm going to tattle on you just a little bit because I know you watch my videos. Um, and uh, when it really, really dawned on him how to do this effectively and quick, he said it was just like the light went on. Then all of a sudden his knives were just razor sharp all the way through really fast. So be sure you watch uh, the bevel and watch the shine on the bevel. Okay, and you probably won't see it in this video, but we're going to get right down about there. Okay, and then we're gonna slide it out the blade like this. Move right along, just like that. Come out here, back here like that, like this. I'll tip it over this way every now and then, like that. So you wonder how much pressure I'm putting on it. Watch this. I'm not actually hanging on to the sharpener. I'm actually hanging on to the little black tab sticking out there. A lot of them that you have today don't have the little black tab, but, and you'll be hanging on to the sharpener, but just so you know, I'm not squeezing the sharpener. I'm not making the sharpener rigid like that. I'm actually holding onto it like this so the sharpener, I call it floats, so the sharpener floats a little bit. 
All right, that way I can't put very much pressure on the sharpener, just like that, go right on around. You may notice my middle finger, okay, is my uh, fingernails actually touching the knife. So that does sort of hold it up at the right angle. And I'll just run along like that. And then I tip the knife, come down here like this, turn it over and do the same thing on this side. If you come up to my table, you look at my knives and if you wonder if they've been sharpened with something besides my tungsten carbide corners, if you know anything at all about the way a blade should look, if it's sharpened with a Lansky, a whetstone or a belt sander or something, and you look at it, you'll be able to tell instantly whether my knives on my table have been sharpened with a <clears throat> tungsten carbide sharpener or a Lansky or a whetstone or a ceramic or something like that because the blades will positively look different. Doesn't mean they cut less, it just means they look different. All right, so now we do this, we flip the knife every pass, polish the blade, take the wire edge off the blade, just like that. And let's see what we got now for sharp. Oop. Uh, there's a little bit of a burr on it, I know, I can tell. It's on that side. So we touch it pretty light, just like this. And turn it over. Now we just flip it a few times, polish the blade, get rid of the wire edge. Now, if you're going to go out and cut meat, and you're going to cut stuff, you're going to cut sticks, all that stuff, you don't have to really worry about the little wire edge that sticks up there. And the reason I say that is it'll come off. Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll come off as you cut stuff. But if you're going to cut paper, if you're going to slice paper, you have to get that little burr off there because even though it's microscopic, it's going to interfere with your business. So if I hold oh, like this, Just like that. Okay, that really does take the fingernail right off. So anyway, that's how I use the little orange one. That's one I use all the time at the gun shows for a demo when I demo the uh, round sharpeners. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, down here in Denver, Colorado. Go to YouTube, Sharpens Best. Go to sharpensbest.com. Check out all of our stuff and, uh, you know, make a Christmas purchase. Um, do we want to give them anything off? Uh, we'll send some specials out. Okay, we'll send out some specials and um, go to the website, look it over, then you'll find out what you get off if you order thus and such. We'll talk to you later. Bye.